In today's quick Thursday tip, we're going to talk about a Power Apps USB scanner. In the past, we've made a couple videos on using the barcode scanner built into your iOS or Android mobile devices, but now I bought this fancy thing, so we're going to give it a go and see what happens when we scan with it. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to dive into the USB scanner and Power Apps. And the reason for that is because you guys ask all the time, like, hey, those uh, mobile app scanners work great, but what if someone wants to sit at their desktop or their laptop PC, and we've already got these cute little handheld scanners, how do they fit into the story of Power Apps? So I thought we would do that. We'll build a quick app with it as well, just to get you working with it. And then the idea is this will open up the story for me to be able to build more complex apps later using this. Um, and the first one we're gonna do, which I will link to when the time comes, is the uh, inventory app. We're gonna take our inventory app and add barcodes to it. So, should be fun. Anyway, let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. All right, my quick little app, it's about as simple as possible. The cursor needs to be here in the text input, and then once it is, I can scan a barcode, scan another barcode, scan another barcode. Oh, that one doesn't always scan, there you go. And you can see that I'm off, I actually scanned twice because I got trigger happy. But you can see that we can just start scanning this information. And in this case, I'm dumping it into collection and putting it in the collection so I can show it to you in the gallery. So how does this thing work? Well, you might be able to tell just by looking at the screen, but let's go build and talk about it for a second. So we'll go back over here, we'll create ourselves a blank app. And so the most important thing to understand is that this cute little guy, right, that plugs into the USB port on my PC, this is a keyboard. If you just think of this as a keyboard, all your questions go away almost instantly. So if you want to take input from this, you're just going to insert a text input on the screen. All right, we'll get rid of the default value here. And if I, you know, then just say, give me a label and say label, show me whatever is in text input one, the USB scanner stuff is in my way. It's on my desk, I don't like it. Text input one dot text, like that. Play, scan. Oh, what did I forget to do? I forgot to put the cursor in here. The cursor's gotta be here. I keep screwing this up. I'm gonna mess up, there you go. Now, remember, if you're like, but Shane, I don't want my people to have to put the cursor there. Well, they're gonna have to in some capacity, but remember, there is the ability to uh, say on visible. Oh, not that. So you could say, hey, for the screen on visible, remember there is the function we learned a few weeks ago called set focus. Set focus text input one. And so then that way, whenever the screen becomes visible, the cursor would jump over here. And so it's not gonna happen while we're in studio, but you could have that happen so that every time the app loaded, it just put the cursor here, or when they navigate to the scan part screen, it just drops the cursor here. So set focus is one key. Now, if you wanna capture the data, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here to on change. Where is on change? Way down here. And so here, remember, on change triggers whenever a text input changes from a keyboard. This is a keyboard. So we can say, hey, clear coal scans. Or not clear, geez, old Pete Shane, collect, collect coal scans. And what do we want to do? We're going to say collect, we'll create a column called uh, barcode like that, and then we're gonna say, hey, you, I want you to use self.text. Remember, self is just a way to refer to the control you're in. So instead of writing text input one dot text, which would work, I use a little shorthand there, self.text. I, I like to sneak in little things in you guys. Self.text, and when, we'll just use the now function, which returns the date time down to the second. And so if we do that, that will create us a collection that has the scans. That's step one. Step two, we can just say reset self. So this will, once the scan goes in, it gets written in the collection, it'll reset the control back to its default. Default was no value, blank. So then it'll be ready for the next scan. And then I haven't had to use it, but I've heard of people using it, so I'm gonna put it here as well. You could put the set focus here as well if you're worried about somehow them getting off. They, they shouldn't, but you say set focus back to self. Something like that. So that is your on change, on change put whatever they scanned and the time into a collection, reset this back to default, and put the cursor back here. The cursor shouldn't have left, but just in case it does, it's, uh, we're putting it back. Throw a gallery down here. 
we'll say cold scans. And then we'll just go over here and say, hey, I want you to be title and subtitle fields. I want you to show me barcode and when. I feel pretty good. We'll put the cursor here to start. I will scan my little thing. Boom. And then I'll scan this one. This one's a little pickier. We'll scan this one again. We'll try this one. This one works sometimes. And there you go. We have a scanner that we can do things with. So the idea here is it opens up the door. We can build future videos. Uh, my inventory app, like I talked about, we're going to go incorporate barcodes in it. I've got customer apps where we do this for like IT management. And so when they scan the serial number on the back of a monitor, it looks up the serial number against the database. And then if the if it exists in the database, it takes them to the edit screen for the item. If it doesn't, it takes them to the screen to create a new item, right? There's a lot of really fun stuff that you can do once you start incorporating scanners. And it, you know, this is the case if you want to do it from a PC or a laptop. Remember, if you want to do it from an Android or a mobile or an iOS, I mean. There's a link to that video as well. That uses some different technology that is built into your phones already. So you don't even have to buy a scanner. Speaking of buying scanners, this one was like $15 on Amazon. I'll put a link below. I don't recommend this scanner in any way. I don't like it. I don't dislike it. I just bought it to make this video. So, But if you wanted to play and explore, cheap scanners are the way to go. So there was no software to install. There was no nothing. It just I plugged it in, started shooting. And remember, what is this? This is a keyboard. Don't forget that. That is going to be the key to your success with this. Cool? Questions, comments, ideas for future videos that incorporate barcode scanning? Leave them below. You guys, there's only a subset of you that seem to like barcodes, but the ones that do love them. And I'll tell you, uh, I'm telling my training class this week, you know, there's a lot of places where now you realize you can incorporate barcodes pretty easily. There's a lot of ways to make apps and uh, you know, functionality better where instead of someone having to get out their phone and type in a bunch of stuff and then, you know, go forward, just give them barcodes to scan. Or, you know, people that are working at desks and they always have to enter packet numbers and things like that. Give them bar just put, start putting barcode. Barcode labels are cheap. So, cool. Well, that's all I've got for today. So with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.